Alright, today we're going to learn about smoke bombs. Yes. And combustion, which is essential for smoke bombs. Essentially. Essentially. Okay. <laughs> Alright. In order to get the smoke bomb working, we need combustion. Combustion is the ignition. Yes. Of fire, which will eventually light the smoke bomb, and eventually... It would, it would make smoke. Yes. <laughs> yes, it will. Okay. The combustion process is commonly referred to as the combustion triangle, because there are three requirements for combustion. One is oxygen. In order to light the smoke bomb, the fire has to maintain and sustain. Therefore, it needs oxygen to burn off of. This continues the chemical reaction uh, that allows it to be a flame. Okay, the second thing is it needs fuel. It needs, to, it needs a host to burn off of in order to continue. And this will eventually allow it to sustain as well. These two things, oxygen and Fuel. <laughs> fuel are very critical. The third thing is heat. Heat is just as important as the other two. Maybe even related. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. 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 The heat allows everything else to function. It allows the fire to keep to continue burning and the chemical reaction to continue reacting. Right. Causing smoke. Well, causing, so that's what causing, you're saying. Eventually causing more smoke, yes. Causing a big mess of smoke. Yes. Through chemistry.